It has been far too long since I posted a video. 29 days, I think, and I'm, I apologies for that. I've been meaning to post one sooner, but the last few weeks have been so busy for me and I just haven't had the chance. During that time though, I have had the opportunity to read a book that I wanted to share with you because I really enjoyed it. Now, this isn't a technical book. It's not a book that's gonna teach you how to code or teach you any technical skills but it does give you a fascinating, a fascinating insight into the history of computers and computer science, and particularly the, the people that were important in developing computers and computer science. So it's a sort of a history of, of, the, of computers and computer science, but through the key players. And it starts right sort of at the beginning with Ada Lovelace and Charles Babbage. And then it moves through time uh, and highlights the people that played key roles at certain points along the way. And there are names that you will be familiar with, like Alan Turing, Grace Hopper, of course, people like Bill Gates and Steve Jobs and Tim Berners-Lee. But then there are a whole host of other names that I hadn't heard of who played really important roles in the development of the whole of computer science and computers. And I found this book fascinating. It was well written, it was well researched, and I loved it. And you know, I, I've, I'm now re-reading it or re-listening to it and I'm waiting for the arrival of the physical copy as well. The book is called The Innovators. It's been out for a few years. It's by Walter Isaacson, and I think you'll really enjoy it. One figure that stood out for me, and you know, there were so many people in this book, and, and really, you could make a video about any of these people, but one figure that really stood out for me was Doug Engelbart, who I hadn't heard of. If you're interested in the history of computers and computer science, and you haven't heard of Doug Engelbart, then look him up. I think you'll find him a very interesting person. There's a link to the book in the description. And, you know, if you're interested in history and, you know, the history of computer science and computers, then get yourself a copy because I think you'll really like it.